Hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm just going to be taking you around my day today and showing you what I eat um, I've already done my 10 minute or excuse me my 15 minute meditation this morning I've also finished writing in my manifestation journal and my gratitude journal I've already gotten ready for the day I've not had anything to eat today but I have had some unsweetened tea so I'm just going to go ahead and go and uh, make me some breakfast I don't know what I'm gonna have yet I do know that I need to prep some more bacon because I think I'm down to like two pieces left so I might do that today I do know that I've got to clean out my refrigerator because it's a disaster in there and also I've got to clean out my spice cabinet because it's there's just things thrown in there and I need to clean it out so I'm going to do that today but first let's make some breakfast okay guys I've just got about a teaspoon of bacon grease in here um, I like to cook my eggs in bacon grease sometimes it just gives it a little bit more flavor I've got two eggs about two tablespoons of half and half mineral salt and pepper and I'm just going to pop that in my pan We're going to scramble this up. I'm just in the mood for scrambled eggs this morning. I usually have a fried eggs in the morning, but today I'm just in the mood for scrambled eggs and some bacon. I've already got my bacon heated up. I usually do a like a meal prep for bacon, and I will just keep that in the freezer and just pull out what I need when I need it. So that, that's what I did. I've got to do some more meal prep for bacon today. So I'm going to do that later. Um, because right now my bacon is thawing. So I'm just going to have these two eggs along with just a couple pieces of bacon for breakfast. It is now like 2 o'clock. So this will pretty much keep me filled up for a little while. I'm going to add in about two tablespoons or so of cheese just to get in a little bit more fat. Now when you do cheese you don't want to go overboard on the cheese because it can add up really quickly. So just be mindful of the cheese part. Now I'm just going to add this to my plate. I love the little crunchy bits of the cheese that gets stuck on there. So I'm going to add those on the plate as well. And this is the bacon that I meal prep. I just buy my bacon in bulk at the um, at my local grocery store, and I just um, cook it and then just put it in a Tableware container and pop it in the freezer. And it's good to go throughout the week. You can add it to meals or breakfast or whatever you want so i like having a bacon on hand so i'm just going to go eat this and i will see you back for meal number two all right guys so i've just got done with breakfast and i've got my bacon on de thawing in the microwave don't come at me that's just how i do it um i've got some dishes that need to be washed my pan needs to be washed my stove needs to be wiped down and i have got to clean out my cabinets because it is a nightmare in there i've got to go through my spices and everything like that 
so what I think I'm going to do is just take my spices from here and put them over here in this shelf and then put all of this over here um, we'll just have to see how that goes and plus I really have to get in here and clean out my refrigerator it's a mess it's a hot mess so I've got some food that I need to get rid of but when my baking gets done, I'm, I've got to get that cooked and prepped and put that in the in the freezer. I'm just going to start off with washing my dishes and then I'm going to move into, well, I, actually I'm just going to start in my refrigerator and get all of that out and cleaned up first before I do my dishes because it'd be kind of pointless to do dishes and then have to do dishes again. Um, and then I'm just going to uh, tackle my cabinets. They have got to be done. It's got to be wiped out. Um, if you're interested in any spring cleaning, I will leave the link to my other channel down below and you can go watch all of my cleaning videos. And if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and uh, hit that post notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload uh, any new videos. Um, it's completely free for you to do. I don't get paid for it. So um, yeah, hit that little red subscribe button down there below and be part of the family here. I'd love to have you. So I'm just going to get this done. I will spare you the expense of watching me do it um, because normally I do all of my cleaning on my other channel and this is just strictly vlogs and keto. So I won't bore you with any of that. I just want to let you know what I was doing today. Um, and then I've got to uh, sweep and mop and uh, dust off my counters. But I will probably save that until later this afternoon. There's no point in doing it now. Um, so, yeah you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And I will see you back in just a bit. Alright guys, I've got all of my dishes done. I've got my, um, I've got some ground beef here soaking in some cold water for it to thaw. Um, all of my dishes are just here from all of the leftovers and everything. Um, I've got my cast iron skillet out because I'm going to do some prep for bacon. But, I've got my cabinets cleaned out they look so much better so here is mostly all of my baking stuff um salt um bouillon vanillas i've got some ranch powder there and this is a pretty much all of my other stuff i've got my vitamin c my bedtime tea collagen cocoa my calm um and then all of right here is all of my spices I've got some more spices here this is just my um, ketones these are proven ketones I drink those pretty much every day I just had a chocolate one today and then right there I just have my salt and pepper this is my mineral salt my regular sea salt and pepper and then got my refrigerator cleaned out I cleaned out all of the leftovers um, that were going bad so um, I've just got my sauerkraut grape jelly my daughter's um, dip for her chips my yum yum sauce we had egg roll in a bowl the other day so I've just got the leftover in there the last of my eggs um, my quest protein um, my heavy whipping cream half and half and sour cream and then um, unsweetened tea unsweetened regular almond milk Cheyenne's tea this is her tea she does she doesn't like um, unsweetened tea so I just make her her own tea and then if you can see that down there um, I've just got my butter and my pepperoni in here and then down here is where I keep all of my cheeses and tortillas down here is where I usually keep all of my vegetables and then over here is just some leftovers from yesterday and the day before they're still good so I'm just going to keep those and then over here I've got some American cheese and some butter Let's see if I can get this to stay open maybe there we go 
and then all of here I've just got um, my liquid smoke my um, this isn't pepper jelly I just never took the tag off of it this is um, chipotle, uh, chipotle peppers these two are my bacon grease and then I've just got my condiments my mayo Worcestershire sauce soy sauce garlic this is yeast I use this sometimes for flavor in recipes this is hummingbird food um, and then down here I've just got my Nora sheets raisins my daughter likes raisins and then my mustards hot sauces ketchups ranch dressing and then these are um, blue cheese and that back there is Italian dressing down here I've just got my husband's uh, frog togs aloe vera um, refrigerator deodorizer lemon juice apple cider vinegar and some coconut cream so that's what it looks like guys and then I up here I have my daily and weekly cleaning schedules and my daughter's chore list so I just keep those up there so that way we can just go by and um, see what we need to do my daughter's also got one of these in her room so um, if she doesn't see this one she's got one in her room but other than that guys the only thing I've got left to do today is um, prepping bacon and cooking dinner and then doing some cleaning after uh, after dinner. Alright guys, I am completely done for right now. Um, I'm going to meal prep my bacon in just a few minutes. I just want to sit down um, and ask you guys a question or two about homeschool. Um while i'm taking a break i figured out what's a better time to ask all of you guys about homeschool if there's anybody out there who knows someone who homeschools or a youtube channel that um, i can get some information from about homeschooling my daughter she's just over all of the stuff in school and she wants to be homeschooled um we're we are not sure right at this point what we're going to do so i'm just going to do a little bit of research on it first until we make that big of a decision but i just need to know how to go about doing homeschool um what are the best teachers or online teachers that are really good qual you know really good and qualified to to do that um pricing for homeschooling and pricing for books and everything like that so if you guys have any information um, I will leave my email down below and you can email me or you can um, comment on this post on this uh, post and uh, or you can find me on Instagram I will have all of the information down below where you can contact me you just have to look in the description box below and any information that you guys have will help me so much so I just wanted to you know take the time out just for a minute or two and ask you guys you know the what's what on homeschooling so that's all for now and I will see you guys back when i cook dinner i have laid out ground beef for dinner and i have no idea what i'm going to cook with it do you guys ever get that way it's like i wanted something to do with ground beef but i didn't think the rest of it completely through and it's like well now what do i make <laughs> yeah story of my life but i will see you guys back at dinner and uh, we'll figure it out together what we're going to make Alright guys, for dinner we are going to be making hamburger steak with gravy and some steamed vegetables. You're just going to add in a pound of ground beef to a bowl along with some salt and pepper to taste. And then you're going to add in about three quarters of a teaspoon of onion powder and about a teaspoon of garlic powder and Italian seasoning. Um, you can do this to taste, you can add more or less, whichever one you prefer, just do it to however you like. All 
right guys now we're just going to mix this up you can put on gloves if you're not comfortable with mixing um, raw meat with your hands you can just um, put on some gloves just mix this up and separate this into four equal pieces and then you're just going to pat these out into um, patties make sure they are pretty much the same size All right, now we're just going to move on to the stove and we're going to set the temperature to about a medium heat. Um, this is the same pan that I cooked my bacon in earlier. I'm just going to use the same pan, less cleanup, and it will add a little bit more flavor to the gravy later on. So just add in your ground, pat, your ground beef patties and just let those cook on each side until they are completely cooked through and then you're just going to remove those and drain off the excess fat. Alright guys, now that we have drained our excess grease from the pan, you're going to go in and you're going to add in about two tablespoons of butter. And then you're going to add in two ounces of softened room temperature cream cheese. And you're just going to mix that together just a little bit until it gets all combined. And then you're going to add in half of a cup of chicken stock and you're going to let that cook for about five to ten minutes just until it's reduced by half um and then you're going to add in three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream and then you're going to turn your heat down to medium low and you're going to let that cook for about five minutes or so and it's going to thicken up um you don't want it too thick you just want it um, like a gravy consistency and you can go in at this point and add salt and pepper while it's um, cooking and see if you need any more salt and pepper at the end just to make sure the seasonings are correct and it's how you want it but I would go a little light handed on the salt because you do have the salt from the chicken stock and your bacon grease so I would add just a little bit of salt and then taste it and then see if you need to adjust the salt flavor in the gravy and when it's done you're just going to um, turn it off the heat you're going to add the meat back in and you're just going to flip those over around in the sauce just to get them coated and then after that you could pretty much serve it and this gravy guys is so good it's so delicious I absolutely love it and I highly recommend that you try it so that will be pretty much all for dinner we're just gonna have side of um, steamed vegetables to go along with it
All right, guys, this is how my plate turned out. It is so good, and this gravy is so delicious. I highly recommend that you try it. Um, if you do, leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know how you liked it. All right, guys, now that we are done with dinner, I'm just going to put up the leftover food and clean up the kitchen and do some sweeping and mopping. So let's get this kitchen clean really quick and get all these dishes put up. All right, guys, we are done with the kitchen. I've got my dishes drying right back here. I've got my countertops all clean and clutter-free. I've got my stove cleaned off and looking good. So the only thing I've got left to do is sweeping and mopping. So I'm gonna do that in just a few minutes. But for now, I'm going to end the vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit that little red subscribe button down below and be part of the Cruise Keto family. I'd love to have you. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you'll be alerted whenever I upload new videos. It is completely free to subscribe and I'd love to have you join. And uh, yeah guys, I'm just going to end it here and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.